my favourite series of all time in terms of fantasy is the Stormlight Archive. And if you hadn't guessed that already, thing that I have tried to incorporate into every single video that I make, or if I can find a way to mention it, I will. One thing that makes the series great is the phenomenal characters, and especially the three main ones. You can go from the morally grounded kind of characters to the straight up killers, and all of them are written extremely well. So today I'm going to be talking about how the three main characters work so well together in telling such a great story. If you haven't already, make sure to do the usual stuff of liking and subscribing, and let me down, down below, what is your favourite character from the Stormlight Archive? Another thing before we get into the video, remember there will probably be a lot of spoilers in this video for the Stormlight Archive, because I have to talk about them for character arcs and stuff. If you haven't read the series, go read it, then come back and watch this video. Let's start off with the first of the three characters. This is Dalinar. His character arc within the first book, The Way of Kings, is more about learning who to trust and how hard his goal is going to be, and also whether he should be trusting himself in terms of some of the visions that he has. His influence on the plot and kind of the world in general is a lot larger than some of these other characters. Uh, the plot in this one is actually a little bit more grounded to set up things that need to take place later down the line to kind of bring the series to its kind of main points, if you know what I mean there. His overall character arc comes more in Oathbringer, where you learn where he came from, what he used to be, and how he is trying to become a different person, not only for himself, but also for the people he's trying to save. One of my favourite points of this, or kind of themes, is something that's mentioned within it, and it's a hypocrite is sometimes someone in the process of changing, and that's what Dalinar does within this. And he is such a great character, especially paired with the other two. So let's shift and talk about Shalan. Shalan has one flaw that uh, people point to when they first read Way of Kings. They find that because her plot is so far away, like spatially, from uh, Dalinar and Kaladin, uh, she seems like you're just taking a break from the main story and people are always waiting for it to go back to the other two. And not only that, but sometimes Shalan can seem a little bit annoying in some of, some of those things she does, but that's because her kind of narrative arc feels like a side of, kind of side plot. It doesn't properly take place until you dive more into Shalan's backstory in Words of Radiance. And that is where she becomes one of the best characters because you understand her and you kind of see things more from her and what she's trying to achieve within this series. And not only, like I said earlier, where she is completely different from the other two in terms of the narrative that's trying taking place, but she, spatially she's so much further away. The other two are in the Shattered Plains where she is elsewhere doing a different thing. And lastly, let's talk about Kaladin. He is the more prominent character within the first book because the main reason is that he actually gets a kind of completed character arc. It's not, obviously, because it continues in the other books and you built on, but he gets a complete kind of rags to riches kind of character arc. And this arc acts as kind of the backbone for the novel. So you can set up the arcs of Dalinar and Shalam without it feeling incomplete. And it allows for the larger setup of those other two characters. His story itself exists in kind of some main tropes that are quite common. The kind of like I said, the rags to riches or slave to kind of soldier, and especially kind of like the chosen one kind of trope a little bit. But it's kind of grounded in these two familiar tropes, which allows you to be able to set up Dalinar and Shalan, add, incorporate some of these other more nuanced and different stuff. And that's one of the reasons these characters work so well together, because Kaladin is more grounded in classic fantasy, classic fantasy tropes, uh, whereas Dalinar and Shalan are a bit different, um, but can kind of piece apart their character arcs in the first book, and then build on in the second and the third, and then Kaladin come, comes back into kind of the forefront in the fourth book, I'd say, but it's Kaladin's arc within the first book which allows this all to take place. I'm pretty sure Brandon Sanderson has mentioned this in when he was talking about the Way of Kings Prime, his original idea for the novel, and how needed Kaladin 
to kind of be the backbone of the novel to kind of ground the series or ground the book before he can continue to do these more nuanced and different ideas that are now as what makes the series so great. These characters work together in such a great way that help push this series into the forefront of modern fantasy. And it obviously is something absolutely amazing. And I definitely recommend you pick this one up if you haven't already. Or go do a reread. I'm going to hopefully be doing one soon. I might do like a read along thing. I'm not too sure yet, but we'll see. Make sure the usual stuff of liking and subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, I will leave another one either side of me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.